Hey, it's Pam Pryor, your first CFO, coming to you today in gym clothes because I just thought of something while I was walking and I wanted to make sure that I shared it as quickly as possible. Um, I'm definitely going to cover this one on the Cash Flow Podcast because it's just, it's so important and it applies across all of our businesses. But what, what my, my coach said was, and I want to get it exactly because it's so perfect, it is most people are walking around with tactics looking for a strategy. And we were talking about that in the context of marketing and growing a business, but it so applies in the financials for a business as well. And I just want you to hang with me for a second because it's so important to hear um, what, I, what I've heard going on a lot in entrepreneurs' heads and in, in their actions around the finance pillar in their business, and it's so easily fixable. So what I often hear when I ta- talk to entrepreneurs is, you know, well, I have a bookkeeper in place. Well, I have my tax accountant in place. Well, I look at reports every week. And those three things are tactics in search of a strategy. And that's such a big reason in a lot of cases that the financial stuff in your business isn't necessarily interesting or fun or even relevant to you because you've put in place tools without really understanding or without having having attached it to your own needs as the business owner. And that's just so key that I, I it was a light bulb for me in a way that I could possibly communicate this. And, I, and I'm grateful for somebody having used the, that expression with me because those things that are in place, the bookkeeper, the, the uh, reports, the tax accountant are all tactics. But you can fix that problem and align all of those tactics with a strategy. You know, sure, ideally we do the strategy first and then set the tactics up. But the really cool thing in finance, probably not so much so in marketing, but definitely in finance and accounting, is if you've got the tactics in place, you can still define your strategy completely separate from that and then have those pieces line up to fit your need. And every bookkeeper worth their salt, and there are a ton of them out there, would rather have their bookkeeping align with your strategy, but so often we forget to tell bookkeepers, this is how I think about my business. So they don't have a chance really at saying, oh, that's how you think about your business. Let me fix this stuff so that when you see it, you see it reflecting that strategy. And that's the piece I really want to tell you. There's so much room for that. And if you haven't picked up the phone and talked to your bookkeeper about the reports you're getting or talk to your tax accountant about why it's important for you to have certain things in your business, then they're not ever going to know your strategy and they're not going to ever be able to do things in a way that supports that strategy. I've said this a bunch of times before in different ways, but that particular expression really jumped out at me and I wanted to make sure I got on the air here and shared it because it re- I'm going to flesh it out a lot more, that thought, in my next podcast, but I couldn't even change to wait to get this out to you folks. I just wanted to make sure you, you heard it and thought about it and understand, hey, you don't have to have financial tactics that don't support your strategy, just like you don't have marketing tactics that aren't based on a strategy or sales tactics that aren't based on a strategy. Every successful business, usually it's in the business owner's head, the strategy, or it's been drawn on a napkin somewhere, but it is somewhere and don't sell yourself short. You have a strategy for your business. Couple of quick steps or conversations with the people that are doing your financial work for you today, and all of a sudden those tactics line up with that strategy. So don't have financial tactics, looking for a strategy. Take your strategy and make sure that those financial tactics support it. That's the tip for today in gym clothes and all. Y'all take care. Be sure to download a free copy. Oops, you can't see the whole thing today, but of your first CFO for a bunch of other tips and tricks or tune into the Cash Flow podcast on iTunes. The next episode will be dropped here shortly. It'll be up to six episodes by the end of this week. So look forward to talking to you on air. Reach out to me, comment, message, like this, anything. And I will uh, be sure that we continue to get you on the list to get continued tips, tricks, and tools for making finance fun in your business. Take care.